Welcome to Indian Laboratories Forum. We are going to learn about the requirements of ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017. General Requirements for the Competence of Testing and Calibration Laboratories Now we're going to learn about Clause 6.6, .6, Externally Provided Products and Services. This clause provides details of requirements for vendor selection, vendor evaluations, and monitoring the performance of vendors on an ongoing basis, etc. The laboratory shall ensure that only suitable externally provided products and services that affect laboratory activities are used, when such products and services are intended for incorporation into the laboratory's own activities. Example, purchasing of chemical, consumables, reagents, equipment, etc. are provided, in part, or in full, directly to the customer by the laboratory, as received from the external provider. Example, subcontracting of testing, or calibrations. are used to support the operation of the laboratory. Example, disposal agency calibration services, etc. The laboratory shall have a procedure and retain records for defining, reviewing, and approving the laboratory's requirements for externally provided products and services, defining the criteria for evaluation, selection, monitoring of performance and re-evaluation of the external providers, this particular clause is demanding the procedure for selection, evaluation, monitoring performance, and re-evaluation of vendors and review, approval process for vendors. There should be clear procedure for selection, evaluation of different type of vendors, or service providers, examples, subcontracting, subcontracting lab should be ISO, IEC 17025 accredited laboratory, similarly calibration lab also should accredited as per ISO, IEC, 17025. Proficiency testing providers should be accredited as per ISO 17043. Reference standard providers should be accredited as per ISO 17034, or competent producer. Disposal agency should be Pollution Control Board approved disposal agency. Likewise laboratory has to have selection criteria for vendors and evaluate the vendors with different criterias, example, quality of products received, such as, critical consumable check, receipt conditions of products, packaging condition, delivery time, etc. Ensuring that externally provided products and services conform to the laboratory's established requirements, or when applicable, to the relevant requirements of this document, before they are used or directly provided to the customer. Laboratory has to ensure that those products or services which are using for providing the services, as well as which helpful laboratory regular operations to maintain compliance status of laboratory, are as per the predefined requirements to meet the requirements of regulatory accreditation bodies, standards, and customer requirements. Taking any actions arising from evaluations, monitoring of performance, and re evaluations of the external providers. If any vendor is not providing quality of products, or not meeting as per the laboratory requirements, laboratory has to have the procedure for initiation of actions, such as, disqualifying the vendor, or, identifying the secondary vendors, etc. The laboratory shall communicate its requirements to external providers for this communication should be very clear to vendor about what exactly lab is required. The products and services to be provided, such as chemicals, consumables, equipment, calibrations, qualifications, subcontracting, etc. The acceptance criteria, such as purity, traceability of chemicals, reference standards, acceptance criteria of calibrations, specification limits of testing, etc. competence, including any required qualification of personnel. When laboratory is taking the services for qualification of equipment, or, laboratory hiring the personnel through any HR consultancy, 
laboratory should clearly communicate what expertise or competency required for the personnel to perform the activity. Activities that the laboratory or its customer intends to perform at the external provider's premises. Example, sampling or subcontracting of site testing, etc. Takeaway from Clause 6.6 .6. Laboratory should use externally provided products and services for laboratory intended use, or used for customers, or support the laboratory operations. Lab should have procedure for vendor selection, monitoring, evaluation, re-evaluation, with details of criteria for evaluation. Laboratory has to select the suitable external provider intended to support laboratory activities such as purchasing and subcontracting services. Laboratory can use the external products or services when in part or full services directly to the customer, such as subcontracting of testing or calibration. Lab has to communicate the vendors or service provider clearly on requirements of laboratory and its acceptance criteria, and competency requirements, and, or qualification requirements, etc. There should be clear communication evidence to the vendors, or service providers. This will help in the providing the quality of products, services by the vendors, or, service providers. Now we will give some examples of non-conformances as per Clause 6.6, .6, which will help the learners easily understand about the requirements of Clause 6.6 .6 and avoid the non-conformances in the respective laboratories. Laboratory is not having procedure and records as per the ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017, Clause 6.6.2. Laboratory has not performed the vendor evaluation for XYZ vendor, records are not available for the same. Laboratory is subcontracting the testing to ABC Lab, but vendor evaluation is not performed for the same. Laboratory is availing the services from ABC vendor, but there is communication evidence is available as per the ISO, IEC 17025, 2017, Clause 6.6.3. Hope you enjoyed learning about the requirement of Clause 6.6 .6 of ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017 and, examples of non-conformances as per Clause 6.6. .6. Please like, subscribe and, click on bell icon for regular updates. Thank you. Happy learning!